from, you know, playing the game, doing that every day, to then whatever regular uh, job they're going to have. And then there, there was a book uh, that I remember reading called uh, When the Clock Runs Out mm-hmm. um, that really highlighted that. And how was your transition? Well, I, I can tell you this. Um, it's not an easy thing to do. And it's interesting you, you used uh, a, an example of the clock running out because the clock does run out. Uh, you can only be an, an active, uh, productive athlete for a period of time. The human body can just only run so fast, yeah. you be so strong for a period of time, yeah. and then you have to make an adjustment into um, into the corporate world, if you will, yeah. you know, and take a job where you put on perhaps a shirt and a tie and not shoulder pads and a helmet. And uh, for me, it was a situation whereas uh, I was I was really blessed to be able to make the transition because I started the preparation early on in my career as a okay. professional athlete. So the so the day that I was released, uh, I actually was released by the Indianapolis coach. I, I signed for that team, uh, and uh, I was only there for one day, and they let me go. But after seven years in the National Football League, I was no longer welcomed by an NFL team. Uh, but I had started my own business. I was in the printing business. Okay. And uh, as I drove my car home from Indianapolis, Indiana, back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the whole time I drove, I, I contemplated what I was going to do next. Yeah. And I said, I'm simply going to drive home, get a good night's sleep, take a shower, and get my butt up out the bed and go to my office the next morning. Right. And I've never looked back since then. Right. Because, it's, I mean, that's a difficult time because in uh, terms of an, of an athlete, you're maybe seen as being past your prime or aged, but in reality, as a human being, you're you're still a young a young person. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, in fact, you're you're not even in in the prime of your life when it comes to to working, because you know at least here in the United States of America, uh, you know people retire you know at the age of 65 years old. Well, when you finish playing football, you know, you're about 30, 31, 32, 33. And, and the reality of it is you haven't started working yet. You've, you've been an employee as an athlete, but you haven't started your professional career as an executive. And so you're really just a rookie, if you will, in business. And, and when you walk into the office, you're not the seasoned veteran and you have all these years of experience. There is somebody else here that is 30 years old, but they've been working at that company for eight years because they came right out of college. Yeah. They started working there, and they've got eight years on you. Yeah. Were there skills that, that you had gained from football that you were able to take um, <clears throat> into the next line of work? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. There are so many good things, so many intangibles that you learn in sports that they're really not taught any place else. You, you really can't learn them any place else. And that's why many times, you know, corporate America will bring in coaches and players as motivational and inspirational speakers yeah. uh, to try to get through and to motivate their people to reach new heights that they've never reached before, to be the number one sales team, to sell more than anybody in the history, you know, to develop a new product, to be creative and think outside of the box, to use the examples of you were faced with adversity that nobody believes you could do something, and you did it. You know, the, the, the teamwork, the teamwork, the camaraderie, you know, the esprit de court of, of everybody fighting for one goal and, and to everybody to be on one accord yeah. and, and to know what, what, what we're shooting for. You know, sometimes uh, you go out and the expectations of individuals, you know, they had a private meeting with their boss and, and he set their goals in terms of performance and what's expected with them. When you're on a team, you, you sit in a team meeting. And everybody knows what's expected of you. Everybody knows what you're supposed to do. And then everybody, you're evaluated in front of everybody. Yeah. The reality shows today have been in existence in football for years. 
And so it it it, it really kind of puts your life and your life in the spotlight, and for people to critique your performance and have their opinions. And sometimes they're right, and sometimes they're wrong because people think they know what you're supposed to do when they watch a football game. They don't always know, yeah. but the people that do know are your teammates that's in that meeting room with you when the coach is evaluating your performance and critiquing you and letting you know you didn't get the job done. And you know that you didn't get the job done too as well. 